Okay, so this is the update. This is the start of the week five after my Achilles tendon rupture. It was a full rupture, three centimeters gap, which then um, was reduced to um, one and a half centimeter. Um, so it's kind of shortening, which is a good sign. And this is the start of week five, so it's been four weeks I've been dealing with a DVT. And I stopped taking the anticoagulants now, so it's actually um, um, yeah, I hope it's good, right? Like one DVT was gone on the ultrasound, uh, uh, so one blood clot was gone when I did the ultrasound the above knee and the one below knee was still there but they I have a con control in three, three months so that's probably gonna um, dissolve in time so um, right now I've started uh, full weight bearing I started full weight bearing week three and uh, week four so I was off the crutches gradually but I think week three and week four, I did uh, week three partially weight bearing, week four fully weight bearing. Um, but I was also fully weight bearing in week three, so I kind of combined. So, yeah, this is it. Now I'll show you how uh, what I have here is, is my boot with, with two wedges which are um, each two centimeters, so it's four centimeters. And then on top of this, I have this heel stack, um, lift stack, which is, I guess, an additional two centimeters. So, and then I have this on top. So it's around six centimeter lift which I will be gradually removing to four and two in the next week. So probably a week um, six, uh, I'll remove two centimeters and then week um, seven, um, I'll remove an additional two centimeters. So let's put the boot on. Now, I'm gonna put my leg in there. So this is my leg, it's not swollen anymore. Uh, okay, so, it's kind of difficult. You can hold your phone, but yeah. Okay, it's in there. Now we're gonna, you don't have to put this very tightly, so yeah, I have to put this very, very um, tight, so you, you need to have some space here. Then we're going to put this here, and then we're going to take this part, put it here, and now This will go with this second one. All right. So the second one will go with this. This one actually the most important one so that Your foot doesn't slide inside the boot, so this one should be a little bit tighter. Okay, so we're getting up now, and I'll show you the walk. So, so you're starting with your heel and then slightly moving to your toe. So, look at this.
putting your legs a little bit forward so that it's always in a plantar flexion mode. It, it is always in a plantar flexion mode because it is inside the boot. But yeah, just to be on the safe side, putting the injured leg a little bit forward, then rolling from the he heel to the toe. So this is my walk at the start of the week five of the uh, of week five, and uh, yeah, kind of happy with it because I can walk, which is a big improvement in your life quality. So. Yeah, okay, so so now okay, let's be here like this. So let's stop here. So um week five progress is good. And hopefully it'll be even better once I remove those sorry, um, wedges. Um, so it's going to be um, from six to four, from four to two centimeters, and then back to neutral. So yeah. This is uh, the update, and um, yeah, I'll give you an update um, next week. So hopefully, this will progress nicely, and um, I will be out of the boot. Uh, within one month so yeah see you next time